Hi everyone, welcome to this quick demo video. I have my beautiful friend Em here who is how many weeks? 38. 38 weeks, so we're getting this in just in time. And we're going to show you a few awesome exercises about how to get bub into the ideal position before you go into labour and birth. It's going to make your birth more comfortable, more efficient, faster. So watch these tips. So one of the most important things around the position of the baby and why these exercises, so I'm going to give you five top tips on positions that you can use now that are going to help you progress and have a more comfortable labour. What we want to do is make sure bub is in the ideal position. So here's the baby's head, here's your pelvis, this is based on a, natural, on a normal woman's pelvis, it's an average size. This is the ideal position we want bub's head to go into the pelvis. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because that's the way it's going to fit most easily. We don't want it going in like this, and we don't want it going in like this. Here, when baby's spine is with our spine, this is referred to as posterior, and it can cause a long, uncomfortable labor because it's not the ideal position, and it takes time for bub to rotate into that right position in the pelvis. So these are the exercises that are going to help you be in that position, get bub into that position. So unfortunately, the way we sit and operate in society these days is a lot of, you know, sorry Em, but just how you're sitting now, <laughs> just like that, sort of leaning back, sitting back to watch the television. What this does is tilts your pelvis so that bub will hang towards the back and you're more likely doing a lot of these positions to have a posterior labour. Ideally, we want bub to be in this position with Bub's spines going up to the side. So this is called LOA. And I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to get there and how to do that. So what we wanna do is constantly be thinking about how we can tilt the pelvis forward. So Em, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you firstly just to think about sitting. Like that's the exercise that we're going to talk about. It's purely about thinking about tipping your pelvis forward. So when you're sitting on the couch, when you're watching television, taking the time to think about tipping the pelvis forward, leaning forward and putting the weight forward into your stomach. You'll actually find, particularly at this stage of labour, it's more comfortable as well. If you're getting a lot of lower back pain, this is a really nice position. And I'm going to show you a lot about leaning and tipping and leaning forward is what you really want to focus on, particularly for you for the next couple of weeks. So that's one great position is just sitting. So coming down onto the floor and using just a booster or quite a firm pillow, and I want you to sit just on the edge and cross-legged. That's it. And feeling how that's got the tilt mm. again. Mm -hmm. And you need that tilt. So we're all looking at different positions where you're going to get that tilt. Excellent. This is another ideal sitting position to help you tip the pelvis forward but not having to engage your leg muscles quite so much. So again, always thinking about ways when you're sitting, how you can tip the pelvis forward and help open up that pelvis and you're more likely to have your bub in the ideal position. This position as well is fabulous because it means that you're nice and relaxed. It's not like when you use a fit ball at the gym or something like that. This is, remember, this is a totally different approach. You wanna be taking this time to let everything go floppy, let everything relax. You don't want to have any strain in your stomach muscles. M's lovely and relaxed, which is very important. And this is a great position just to, if you're watching TV or needing to rest a little bit in the afternoons after work, to help bub come around into the ideal position. This is also when you get your partner to start doing the massage techniques that we're teaching in our classes and to do the counter pressure and the double hip squeeze. And the next one I want to talk about, and this is really important again, remember before you do these exercises, is talk to your care providers. This is called the cat. Now normally when you do the cat in yoga, you lift your lower back up and then you arch it back down. Em's not going to arch it back down because that can strain the lower back. She's just going to come back to that neutral position. And going again. Beautiful. This is great for relieving lower back pain and it's also great to help bub come into the ideal position ready for labour and birth. Try that one a couple more times. How's that feel? Good. 
Beautiful. Okay, so number one is sitting. So thinking about how you always have that pelvis open and sitting forward. The next one is rocking. So this is really nice again for easing a bit of lower back pain or if you're getting cramping down into your legs. This is also a great trick to use during your contractions. So what I want you to do Em, is just start with just a nice gentle rock. That's it. And I will say we've had a little bit of a practice, so she's a step ahead. <laughs> and what I want you to do now is think about drawing a figure of eight with your pelvis. Now that's got two great tricks, because when you're in labour and that contraction starts to build, and then you're getting that intense pain, and we talk about what that feels like in the modules, taking that bit of concentration on how to do the figure eight can really help manage the pain. Plus it helps open up the pelvis, bring Bub down into the ideal position. If Bub's head's being held up a little bit on any of these areas here, it helps Bub come down into the pelvis. So it's a nice one as well, particularly at this stage for M, she's 38 weeks, just to help everything relax. Okay, so we've had number one, sitting. Really important to think about tilting, tilting that pelvis forward. Number two was our cat exercise and our pelvis rocking. Again, it's all helping that pelvis open and get some movement down into it. And number three is simply leaning and thinking about where you're leaning. Now, Em's a nurse, so she probably gets home from work and finds this position <laughs> naturally pretty comfortable anyway. So think about opening up your legs, keeping that movement and having absolutely keeping that rocking and that leaning forward because you're helping the weight of the baby come forward so you're not going to end up with that posterior labour and birth. How does that feel, Em? Yeah, lovely. It's also a really good opportunity, again, if you're really sore, to have a bit of a lower back rub, have your partner massaging and doing their massage techniques that they learn in the modules so that they know what to do on the day. The next little exercise we're going to do is off spinning babies. And I really like this. Polly, my five-year-old, she was breech until 36 weeks. So I was doing these religiously. Now Polly did turn at 38 weeks, which is quite late. Um, I don't know what it was. I did a whole lot of exercises, but I really feel that this helped. What it does is it also helps create a bit more space and open up that space. But please make sure that the first time you do it, have someone there with you to do it and make sure that you feel comfortable doing it and please don't do it for any longer than 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna do a little demo here for M and then M's going to have a go. So this is called an inversion. And what you wanna do is get on a couch or on a bed, not anything up too high and slowly walk your hands down and bring them down so that you're resting on your forearms with your bottom high up in the air and resting there for 30 seconds. Now that helps create more space and the weight of the baby hopefully pulls forward. And then slowly come up, let all that blood come back to your head and walk your way back up. As you can see, it's really good to have a support person with you the first couple of times you try that because you don't want to be getting stuck down there. <laughs> so come on in Em. So Em also had a breech baby, her last baby, so she's well rehearsed at this exercise. <laughs> and that's beautiful. So getting that bottom high up in the air, creating some space down here. And it's a really nice exercise and it's great if you have a breech baby on board. Great Em. Number five is simply walk. So make that part of your daily, you know, your daily exercise. It doesn't have to be a big walk. It might just be that you're walking around the block or conscious of parking your car somewhere a little bit further. We're currently filming this in Tamworth and it's about 40 degrees outside. So I'm not going to suggest that Em goes outside for a walk, um, but find somewhere air conditioned. Stairs are a really good idea, but please before stairs and before squats, if you're finding, you know, you're wanting to go into that squatting position, have your midwife or your obstetrician check your position because we don't actually want you to get the head to come down into the pelvis until it is in the ideal position. So always just check with your care provider around where you're at 
But those five exercises that I've given you are very safe, very simple to do at home and helps Bub come into the ideal position.